makes me realise how bad. Check out the sunset. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. We've had our last ice cream. Shortly departing London Gatwick. What are you going on about? So I'm just still there, which is great. <laughs> what angle is that? Might just start bubbling next week. I wonder who it could be. Literally look like film stars. Definitely don't think this is a classic room. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I feel like I've got to bring this nearer. All those cricket noises. Let me try and alter this. Uh, we are still away, we're in Crete. We are here for another three days, I think. We've come in total for, I think, around 10, 11 days, uh, which has been amazing so far. I don't wanna leave this place. It's literally, oh, so relaxing. It's like paradise. I've been living off these ice coffees. Mm, that's so good. If you haven't watched my vlog from last week, then go back to watch it and I will tell you all about this place where we're staying. It's been a great holiday and I have written a vlog and obviously I've got the vlog that went live last week all about um, this hotel. Um, and so if you're interested at all in going away to Greece or to Crete, uh, then I suggest you go back and watch that or read the vlog um, and I'll put links on the vlog as to what exactly we did and who we booked through and things like that. Graffiti's marching around with his ball. Um, we've all just got out of the pool, we're having a nice tea break um, and then I think we might go and get some pancakes and waffles and uh, head down to the beach this afternoon. It's actually our wedding anniversary today so we have been married for 13 years which I can't quite believe. I looked back on some photographs from our wedding and I look so young, really young. Raffi even said, who is that? I said, thanks very much, that was me. Um, so yeah, it was quite funny to look back with the children and we're just gonna have a relaxing day. We don't really tend to do much for our anniversary anyway. We're away on Saturday night when we're back. So I'll take you with me for that. And that is gonna be kind of our anniversary dinner thing that we do on our own. So anyway, if you're new around here, then welcome. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will fill you in with my week. Just watching Raph, better go and concentrate. Good afternoon, we're back from our walk. Oh, I'm so hot. We're about to go and get into the river pool, I think it's called. I can't remember what this one's called. Uh, I think they're already in, but it's quite a nice, quiet, calm pool compared to the other one from this morning. Good evening, we are all showered and washed. Managed to wash my hair. The water here is so nice, it's like really soft. It makes me realise how bad it is in England. It was really nice and easy to wash my hair. It's always so thick and hard work. Anyway, we are just heading for a drink now. Fee's gonna hopefully take some photos of me, aren't you? Yeah. She thinks, she hope, I hope, I should say. and I are just chilling by the beach. Everybody else is playing Uno or Connect Four. Um, this is the view. 
it is absolutely gorgeous here it's still really warm like we are very hot aren't we yeah. what has been the best bit about the trip for you the beach most definitely and you're not forgetting your favorite drinks there <laughs> she's been drinking our cappuccino freddos um, and having little sips of it but she's now decided that this is one of her favorite drinks along with what's the other thing you like what's it called that horrible tea what's that oh, bubble, tea. bubble tea yeah bubble tea delicious here children's pizzas and Matilda is taking photos of the Noki. Do you want to can I focus in on the Noki? No. <laughs> it's suddenly really northern. Daddy, I've got your hand in the way. Delicious. We're just walking out to check out the sunset. How beautiful is that? You alright Fee? Raffs has got my big camera and we're going to try and do some photos here. Uh, there are a lot of people in the little beach shack bar. Just checking out what's on today. So we've just been looking on the Tuesday um, down. I think they're going to pick a few of these that they're going to drop in and do. Uh, and then tomorrow is our last day, so we're just going to quick look at that as well. The kids have just gone to the kids club but I've just come back up to collect a few bits before we head down to the beach and I wanted to just show you the room I did show you this on my last uh, video last week but this is where the kids are staying so we've got one double bed here and then a single bed that they've made up and then we've got this interconnecting door which joins on to the other room which is basically identical in the other way but they've obviously got this is kind of like a sofa area so every day the cleaner comes in she cleans all the floors she makes all the beds she puts she put all these teddies here it's really really sweet and then just tidies everything up so it just looks lovely every time we come back after we've had a day out at the pool and the beach and everything and then we have our own little private patio balcony out there and it goes onto a grass area and there are lounges that you can use as well let me show you the good thing here is that you have these blinds you also have these kind of blackout blinds here which are proper blackout and then you have a shutter i show sure you when I come out. You have a shutter area as well. This is the outside area, just so you can see. Some are obviously better than others. I think we've got one of the kind of basic ones. The little um, rooms that are over there, they seem to have ones that back onto a pool, so they're much nicer. So when you're booking, I really recommend actually looking at which one you're signing up for. I didn't really do my research properly. But I mean, we have sat out here before. Uh, in the evening, I'd say the mosquitoes are quite bad, so I wouldn't sit out there now, but now it's lovely to sit out if you want some peace. The other area just looks the same like that around there. And then these are the kind of shutters that you get that go straight across 
like so. so. So if you have children that need complete blackout, then this is so good, I totally recommend it. This is the kind of uh, other side of the room over here. We had a table, welcome table when we came um, with a welcome note and little presents for the kids. We've got a nice bag um, and then we've got a fridge in here, cupboard space there, and then this is all wardrobe space. And then this is the bathroom down here. So you can see inside, let me try and get a light on. Oh, there we are. Um, so sink, towels, towels, um, we try and reuse our towels, but one they've got kind of dirty, then they've replaced them. Uh, down here, there's plenty of obviously toilet rolls. They've given us soaps and conditioners and shampoos and all that sort of thing. So it's a walk-in shower, really easy with the kids to use. Uh, it's got a handheld shower bit there and then a big one up the top, which is great for washing hair and washing sand off and things like that. And then around this side, we have hooks, a telephone, which the children have loved and thought this was great. I was like, do not touch that. And then the toilet. So it's perfect for what we need um, on holiday. And then this is obviously the wardrobe space. It's all just done really nicely and tastefully. And I love the decor. I really love these tiles. I think that they've painted them. I think they're just kind of tiles that they've painted, which is pretty cool, I reckon do something like this make it look a bit like Bert to me don't you think good evening we are out and changed and it's still incredibly hot uh, I'm going to show you the main pool now so you can see it again if you didn't watch last week's vlog and we're going to have some drinks I'm just going to try and do some photos before the light goes so this is like the main pool this bit here is quite deep down here and then this is a little bit shallow and then they've got a smaller pool there again it's probably about a meter that the other pool um then this is the meze restaurant which is open in the day so you can go there to eat but in the evening it's just adults only which i think is quite nice we haven't been obviously because we've got the kids but I know some people have put the children into Kids Club, which is open, I think, until eight or nine. And then they've gone there. This is kind of like the main hotel space over here. There's my husband there waving. I think they all want to go for dinner, but I'm faffing. Um, so I'll walk around to meet them. on camera. Nope. <laughs> it's night time. Oh. It's bats. Yeah, she's bats, I hope not. There better not be bats around here. Oh, it looks lovely, doesn't it, at night? Oh, look at that. We're just heading to the beach shack for a drink. Woo! The 
we've all gone down there on the beach. I'm heading the proper way. Ooh. Gonna have a little drink down here on the beach. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Good morning, um, it's our last day. I am really upset, I really don't wanna go. It has been so lovely. We're just heading down to the beach. The kids have gone to the kids club to do a cooking uh, course thing. Um, so I'm sure I'll find out later what that is all about. So we're heading down to the beach. It's looking beautiful. Oh, this weather is glorious. I do not want to go back to England. Apparently it's like storms and raining and depressing. Everyone's got their winter clothes out. I really don't want to go back. This is so lovely. just getting ready to leave this place I'm so sad we've had our last ice cream and we are off they've given us a courtesy room which is amazing so we're gonna go and have a shower get ready um, to leave and we're getting a taxi back to the airport I really don't want to go back literally this weather is so good I love the heat oh Good morning, we arrived back at, I think it was 2.30, so 4.30 Greece time. So it was safe to say we were absolutely knackered. The flight was delayed. We then sat on the plane for another hour, which was not great. And I, I, I was just exhausted. The kids did really well, which I was very surprised at. I was the one that was moaning the most. I don't do well with just sitting and waiting nothing to do I find it oh God, I'm infuriating I hate it so yeah I didn't enjoy it at all anyway we've arrived back to the most glorious weather so I've just said to my parents what are you going on about like everyone's moaning that the weather's been awful here it's glorious it's so lovely and warm lots of blue sky it's just beautiful it's really really nice we're gonna take it easy today I think I've got about eight loads of washing to do I'm not joking maybe more than that I'm back and I've washed and showered and I haven't felt this good in ages. I'm just finding sand everywhere, all over things. Oh, there's a little wasp. Okay, there we go, let you out. Okay. Just put another load of washing in. It's literally never ending. 
anyway i feel so much better i've washed my hair i've put some makeup on i've got on this beautiful dress so this is one that i picked up in phase eight it's online now it's got this lovely belt that goes with it and I picked it up in phase eight when I went for the opening of the Leeds store. I met the team there and this was one of the pieces that I got. I love the fact that it's long sleeves. It's quite, it's kind of midi length, I would say, down to my calves. Should I try and show you? Hold on. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Can you see? It's kind of like a, oh, goes down to there. It's just really nice. Buttons all the way down. It's just a really beautiful dress to wear. Let me try and get a bit more sunlight. I'm in my sister's kitchen and the light is not great. I'm just gonna move around. Oh, is that better? Looking quite gray now. Uh, I promise you I have got a tan still. It's kind of faded a bit on the plane, but uh, it's still there, I've still got marks. This light's horrendous. So I'm gonna be here for most of the summer actually, which is really nice. She's not actually here, so I've just stolen a house, which is great. And she's working quite a bit over the summer, um, so I'm stealing her house, which is lovely. And uh, her children are arriving soon though, don't worry, um, which is great because it means my kids can play with her kids and they can go outside in the garden and just have a lovely time. That's my hope and my planning so that I can actually get some work done. I've spoken about this before, I find it really hard when you work for yourself and you don't have any childcare over the summer holidays and things like that it's really difficult to get any work done. So I'm hoping they're just gonna play really nicely together and not argue. Who am I kidding? Um, anyway, a few things have arrived in the post that I want to show you while I was away. And um, I think I, I kind of want to do an a, unboxing or whatever, but let me try and attempt to do that. Oh, that's not, <laughs> what angle is that? Let's go there, shall we? So first up, I've just opened it up. Oh, this brand that I absolutely love. If you don't know them, they're kind of all over Instagram. Beautiful brand, I've bought lots of them in the past and I am really pleased that I'm now working with them over on my Instagram account. So they've really kindly sent me some of their new products. Um, first up is this, and I haven't seen anyone else that's got it yet. So it's the Orange Blossom Pouch, which is just like this. Uh, got a lovely zip beautifully lined inside it's just really really lovely can you see that print there beautiful embroidery and that is what i love i um am textiles like i want to say i'm textiles based but i used to be a textiles i'm um, fashion teacher and so i love print and um textiles and stitching and sewing and all that sort of thing so i'm very excited to have one of these a lot of people have got the blue one that's out and that would probably be more practical if i was actually thinking about it but i just loved this um for the for the summer so it's a white cotton everyday pouch this is the large one i hope this i hope this everyday pouch adds a little luxury and a lot of joy to your everyday so much care has gone into the creation from a hand painted motif to individual strands of embroidery and thread so the team have also sent me a little coin pouch. This is kind of like the smaller version of the blue one that's going around very much on Instagram at the moment. Um, again, I'm going to find this very useful. I found these bags very useful in my big beach bag. I had one for like hair bubbles, um, accessories. I had another one with all the suntan lotions in. It just meant I could keep it neat in this big bag. Another good thing is maybe if you've got nappies and you want a nappy bag, um, just to have in your handbag, or even just to take this out for the evening, I think it'd be really lovely. It's just a beautiful product and just really pretty for summer. So this is the um, coin pouch. Um, again, you've got the motif on each side. Can you see that? Beautiful, lovely gold zip. And then this going over it. Now, my daughters haven't seen this yet. I'm hoping that I'm gonna hide this from them because I do not want them to steal it. My, my eldest is stealing everything at the moment off me. She's like, oh, I quite like this, quite like that. Like these, I'm sure she's gonna love all the postcards. She's gonna want all of these to go with it. So I have got a discount code for you. It is 15% off when you spend £40, which I think you could probably easily do if you would like one of these products. The code is welcome back. Okay, so 
I will try and put that down in the description below, but if you are wanting one of these beautiful bags, that's a great code to have. Um, they also sent one of these lovely uh, bags, which again, I know my eldest is gonna be wanting to steal. Really lovely kind of book bag. Um, that would have been great to take away as well. So I've just been sent all of those beautiful things. I've also got some lovely dresses to show you. But I haven't actually eaten anything, and I think we're nearly one o'clock. I've gone back to my fasting. I might just start properly next week. But I thought after all overindulging in Greece, literally I ate way too much. I feel like I've got to get back on it, otherwise I'll just pretend I'm still on the summer holidays for the rest of the summer. So um, I'm gonna go and have bits of some fruit, some lovely honey that I bought when I was away in Greece with honeycomb pieces in it, which I'm excited. Some nat natural, natural, some Greek yogurt. I don't think it'll be as good as Greece, but anyway, we're going with it. Um, and um, go and sit outside and enjoy that and then start working through my list. So I'll come back to you with all these clothes and things that have arrived to show you. Good afternoon, we are out on the river. Can you see the river behind me? beautiful it's been such a beautiful afternoon phoebe is very kindly taking photos of me she's over there on the bridge there we're just going to go and have a look in some gardens and take some photos um and we've been watching the boats go by it's so beautiful this is one of my favorite places in the world i think i just absolutely love it here so i am feeling incredibly grateful to be here and to be able to take photos here as well so i will just show you the river oh there's the absolutely stunning boat coming along now it's so gorgeous here's the boat it's just coming along now there have been quite a lot of um swans oh the geese are out down here so pretty here they are they're coming along now absolutely gorgeous i think the ducks think i have got food for them along with these swans and geese there were loads of little ducks earlier on i wanted to show you these my favorite flowers well i say that about all flowers to be fair hence why i do have a flower dress on um these how gorgeous are these they're all in bloom at the moment my sister's got loads at her house and i don't have any so I've just stolen one from here these are hydrangeas annabelle and they're just beautiful because they kind of pop up they're quite high and they're just filled they just look so beautiful like big pom-poms of white they are one of my favorites i'd say um just so pretty anyway they're just gorgeous i really need to sort our garden out after seeing this it's absolutely stunning also this is my tree so i have one of these at home when i say that i've got like a stalk because basically it's died and i'm really upset does anyone know what it's called because it's my favorite look at that leaf it's just beautiful it's like a heart shape and i can't remember what it's called but how beautiful is this it's so pretty Good morning, um, I'm finally sitting down and going to sort out my life. Yep, I'm going to write out my massive to-do list and work out what needs doing. Um, I've got a load of admin stuff that I've basically left for the last week. So I'm going to sit here and work out what I need to do. I've just done my about millionth uh, load of washing. Which is thrilling um, and I've got one child playing with Lego, one having a shower and actually washing her hair properly which is amazing and the other one reading a book so I'm using this time because I know it's going to run out in a second. I was going to say good morning, it's not morning, it is definitely the, the afternoon, can't speak today at all. We are heading into Marlow this afternoon, we're going to go and have a potter around, I haven't been there for ages and Marlow is where I grew up and got married and lived for many many years so I do really love it. My parents got married there and um, it's changed a lot um, over the time um, in that it used to be lots of independent shops and of course it's like everywhere these days where it's lots of um, big high street shops now um, but we're gonna go and have a potter me and my mum the kids might go to the park and then 
I'm gonna get try and get a coffee while we're there um so i can try and catch up with her and i haven't really spoken to her since we've been back properly just been looking at the apples they're nearly ready can you see them there um my parents are really lucky that they've got lots of apple trees in their garden and when they are ready to go they do taste lovely and my dad what he does is he makes apple juice from the apples so we have that all year it's quite like a sharp taste but very nice anyway we are going to go and get ready now i have got on my best friend's wardrobe dress which i absolutely love i'm going to try and pop into the shop they actually have one in marlow uh, i've been in lots of times before but i haven't actually been in um since working with them um so i'm going to go and say hello and i'll try and pop into the fairfax and favor shop as well ochre is there india jane i love india jane I'm just trying to think what other shops there might be some new ones who knows haven't been in for ages so we're gonna go there now Very nice. Mm. The bar stools are nice, aren't they? just out on a walk oh and the birds heard that we were here and it's an absolutely lovely evening apparently rain is coming next week which i'm not looking forward to but there is clifton up on the hill you can see the clock tower there i wonder if you can get on the roof of clifton yeah, I, don't, I don't know if you can you i don't know i don't know if you can do that but anyway there it is yeah, I think you, you, I think you can. You can like sneak up the back, get on the roof, and you could see us. Yeah. Right here at Spring Cottage. We never see anyone there, and there is a big party going on. I wonder who it could be. I'm literally like, oh, can't. I don't really recognise them, but they're taking photos out the front. And there's people to the side. There's tables and chairs. Oh my gosh, what is going on at Clifton? They literally look like film stars. 
They must be famous. Oh my gosh, it's a big party. I can just see. Um, oh gosh, it's windy. It's a dre oh my gosh, it's dreadful. I just stepped outside just to check um, what the weather is doing because we're about to go um, away for the night, me and my husband, which is amazing. My lovely parents are going to babysit and I think my sister is gonna come at some point and help too. But I've literally just stepped outside to think, should I pack some stuff to go for a walk? But there's absolutely no way I'm walking in this, let me show you. I'm not sure if you can see really, but it's windy, it's raining, um, it's freezing. It's just a really a grim, grim day. So we have been invited by Hotel Divan to go and stay there tonight. Um, we are going to the Henley one, which I have actually been to, I was going to say I haven't been to, I have been to quite a few years ago now, so I haven't been back since. And you can always rely on hotel divans to be just really generally quite good hotels. I've never had a problem with them before, um, so I'm really looking forward to going to have our stay there. We are going to obviously the one in Henley, I know Henley quite well. I was hoping to go and have a look around in the shops and things like that, but that might have to wait for till tomorrow. And we're going to have dinner there as well, so I will record all of it. Yes, yeah, so we're heading to Hotel de Van. We're going to have a meal there. I hopefully, have a look around Henley too. So I will take you with me to show you around. I've got on my Phase Eight dress today. I've got a kind of pink Barbie vibe going on. I've done my hair. I don't know why I bothered because let's face it, it's going to just fall out. So we have arrived, um, and I definitely don't think this is a classic room. Let me show you. So we are in the Taylor Suite, I think it's called. It's really nice. So we've got this big bed. Then we have this beautiful bath over there. We've got a toilet where I've sent my husband to hide while I'm doing this video. And I'm gonna have to be quick here. I don't think he wants to sit in there for very long. Um, and then behind is the shower. Let me just show you. There we go, that looks amazing, doesn't it? big massive shower tray and then you've got a separate sink over here um, and then lots of places to put all your toiletries and everything really really nice and then over on that side we've got this sofa over there with a big puff which is quite nice to relax on um, that's where my husband was sitting reading his book but I've just turfed him off and then got a big wardrobe, big massive TV, a lovely desk, free complimentary wine and all those snacks that are on there that look really good. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful. I cannot believe how lucky we are. I'm so grateful for my wonderful job to give me opportunities like this um, to stay in lovely places. So I will take you with me um, down for a drink. We're going to go to the bar and then I think we were going to have dinner in the main restaurant about seven. Um, so I obviously will take you with me so you can see exactly what it's like but I just wanted to show you this room before I bounced on this bed. I'm just looking at all these uh, lock, lock time, locker time, I can never say it. products. They've got them there and then they also have them up here in the shower do really love them they smell amazing last time that i got some i'm sure my daughter stole a load of stuff she loves it she loves anything that smells anyway so i'm looking forward to trying out this shower look at that shower head um and stay in this lovely room tonight aren't we lucky Good morning, I just wanted to show you the outside of um, um, Hotel Van. 
Um, so let me turn this around. So this is the really lovely courtyard area. And in the past, what we've done is we've actually sat outside here. I love all the tables. It's a really nice buzzing atmosphere, especially around Hanley Regatta time. This area is normally absolutely packed. Um, so you can see it was the old brewery. Um, so it's a really beautiful old building that they've kind of taken over, but always sort of left, almost left the, the charm of it. Look up there, it's really nice. So we are just in the bistro now having our breakfast. So I will take you in there to show you what we are having. So this is the outside of the building. So as you can see, it used to be a big brewery along here. So you can see, you've got all the old signs up there. And then they've even kept this lovely old sign across the archway here, Henley Brewery. And I, when I grew up, I used to live in Henley and this used to be the big brewery. So I remember when Hotel Van came to Henley and it was all very exciting because they obviously used this beautiful old building but kept quite a lot of the features. So this is the main bit of the hotel here and then it runs there and then goes further back. I think I just spoke to the manager um, and he said there was about 44, I think he said 40 rooms, which is quite big actually. You don't realise how big it is. So this is the main entrance here. And then when you go up there, it takes you up to the courtyard. So literally on your doorstep you have the River Thames, which is just here. So these are the tents that are left over from Henley Regatta. Um, I think they're slowly taking them down. Um, Henley Regatta is at the beginning of, well, no, end of July really. Um, and it's a great event. Henley is just packed. I love all these old buildings. So this is the course straight down there that the rowers row down. Um, and you can see Temple Island just at the end there with a the tiny temple on, it's very cute. It doesn't look like a very nice day, but I think the blue sky is coming up there. I'm hoping we're not gonna have rain like yesterday. Anyway, we're gonna take a walk around Henley now and go and check out some of the shops.
Laura, this way. Come back this way, this way. Let's go around this way. Oh. I really like this print. Very kind of autumn-y. I think there's a lot of autumn stuff in already for Ralph Lauren. All very autumn. And they've got a tiny, tiny sail rail. Good evening. Um, I'm hiding uh, by my sunglasses because I've taken all the makeup off and I'm in my relaxed gear. I've got my Akai top on. Yes, please, Dad. Yeah, if you want to. You can, yeah. Okay, come and let me say hello. Hold on, this is my dad. He has got the rabbit. I don't think she looks very happy like that. Let me just give her a cuddle. Um, so my father's been looking after a rabbit. There she is, my gorgeous girl. Oh my gosh, they're just arguing and arguing today. Anyway, we've just had a lovely roast dinner cooked by my dad. Oh, nice wind, what a beautiful evening. Uh, we, I went to John Lewis and we um, had a look in the sales. My sister wanted to get some bits, so we did that. Oh my gosh, it's carnage here. Oh. My dad has put a sign up. I don't know where he's got it from. And it says, Mis misbehaving children will be sold to the circus. So I think Raph really thinks this is real. Oh, I'm just gonna finish the vlog now while it's nice and quiet. I will be back next week. I am off on an exciting trip on the Friday. And then it, what am I trying to do this week? Trying to occupy the children doing lots of family activities. So if you are watching this and you're from um, down south, like um, Berkshire area, then it might be of interest to you next week because I'll be doing lots of kids activities. Oh, Cottontail, you're so lovely. She's just jumping around on the table, hold on. Go that way. Go that way. I'm not gonna move. Hmm. What a lovely evening. Anyway, I better go and help um, put this lot to bed. Uh, wish me luck. And I will see you next week for next week's vlog. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I was trying to think of something else to say, but well, nothing else to say. I hope you've enjoyed it. You obviously saw a really random vlog of half coming back from holiday and then the horrible British weather and then going away for the night. So it was, yeah, I suppose that's quite a interesting week i hope you found it interesting please do leave any comments below and i will get back to you bye bye for now